When you hear the words IVF treatment, it can feel overwhelming. So many steps, so many injections, so many new names. But what if I told you that every single medication in IVF has a purpose, a role to play, almost like characters in a story, working together to help you build your family? It all begins even before the IVF cycle officially starts. Your doctor might give you birth control pills or estrogen tablets. And yes, that sounds strange, taking birth control when you're trying to have a baby. But here's why. These medicines calm your ovaries, prevent cysts, and let your doctor control the timing. Think of it as setting the stage before the curtain rises. Then, when the cycle begins, you'll start ovarian stimulation medications. These are usually small daily injections under the skin. Normally, your body grows just one egg each month. But with IVF, we want more than one, because more eggs mean more chances. Medicines like Gonal F, Folistim, or Menopore tell your ovaries, wake up, let's grow many eggs together. As your eggs grow, another set of medicines steps in, GnRH antagonists or agonists, with names like Cetratide, Ganyrelix, or Lupron, their job, to make sure your body doesn't release those eggs too early. They're like gentle security guards keeping everything safe until the doctor is ready. And then comes the big moment, the trigger shot, usually Ovidrel, Pregnol, or Novarel. This injection is carefully timed, about 36 hours before egg retrieval. It's like the conductor raising the baton before the music starts. The trigger tells the eggs, it's time to mature, get ready. Yet, after the eggs are collected, your body might not make enough hormones on its own. That's where progesterone, sometimes with estrogen, comes in. These medicines don't grow eggs. Instead, they prepare the uterus. Think of them as making a soft, cozy bed, the perfect place for an embryo to settle in. And what about men? For many, it's as simple as providing a semen sample on retrieval day. But if sperm counts are low, doctors may suggest medicines like Clomid, HCG injections, or Letrozole beforehand to boost testosterone and improve sperm production. So yes, men can have a small role in the medication story too. So if we put it all together, here's the IVF medication journey. First, preparing the stage with birth control or estrogen. Next, stimulating the ovaries to grow many eggs. Then, protecting those eggs from leaving too soon. The trigger shot, right before retrieval. And finally, progesterone and estrogen, supporting the uterus so the embryo has the best chance to grow. Every medicine has a role. None of them are random. They work together step by step like a team of players in a game or musicians in an orchestra. And the goal of this entire performance is simple to give you the very best chance at bringing home your baby.